Hello, everybody. It's me. 16 months. Woo! You know what I'm saying. Just kind of hanging out at the skate park right at the moment. Woo! Anyway, this is what's up. Get a little bit of sun on this stuff. Yep, that's one of my favorites right here. That's one of my bigger ones. See this loose hair right here? It, it's getting tight. But time is of essence. Try to get back here. And JR messed up the kick flip or whatever he just did. What? What'd you say? I don't know what I said. What you talking about? Ha <laughs> ha! See, I just wanted to give a good angle of what it looks like out in the sun considering every time we do videos it's like, I don't know, in the bathroom, stuff like that. But sun definitely could show a lot better detail than what it has. Things like that. Blah, blah, blah. And since you saw the outside video, which I don't think it really showed much detail, here comes the inside with a mirror. So that way I can see what I'm looking at. This is one of the bigger ones. You can tell how much it's changed. It's starting to form itself. And here's one I like to call the twins. Conjoined twins, I guess you'd say, because they always look the same, but they're just connecting together into one. And uh, of course, I need to show you the front right here. Let's see, all this is starting to knot up by itself, as you can tell. But from uh, my prediction, it's gonna. This is all gonna come one together. The other side of the part of my head, on my head. It's not as, it's starting to knot it, but it's not as much. Like right here, it's only just a little bit. Yeah, it is just right through there. And then, here. So. And. that I can see some of these in the front now because I couldn't tell too much detail how it looks like when it's starting to knot up and lock up. Consider I don't see mirrors too often, I guess. Whatever. And goes the back. And the tail. Going in the back. I don't think it's going to be that big, so it'll be tolerable by the time it gets longer. That's one thing you've got to keep in mind if you ever consider drawing some big locks on, the, on your head. Are they going to be so big that it, you won't be able to handle it because of its weight? But if you have them even out in the smaller sizes, or it depends, you know, if you, if you can handle it or not, it just depends. You won't know until you grow it, of course. Anyway. Oh yeah, guess what? I'm resurrecting the headbang! And then... Upside down angle up. I hope you can see some good detail here. So anyway, still not very good with the camera, but that's all right. It's that's 16 months without comb your hair. In my opinion, it's the best way you can grow dreadlocks because you don't have to do anything for it to lock up. Except clean it, of course, because clean locks equal tighter locks, and no, uh, yeah, no dirt, <laughs> no bugs attracting your hair, things like that. 
etc., etc. Blah, blah, blah. Goodbye. Of course, I'm trying to also check with these bottom pieces. Forgot about those. Can't believe how some of this is forming over a year. This loose stuff right here. Don't worry about it. Because, by the way, things are going. I mean, look at this. They're all knotting up on their own, but they're not going to stay like that. It's going to come like all together. And it might grab one of the other bigger locks or whatever. Might grab and adopt it and join together. That's the whole point of that. But to be honest, it doesn't matter. It doesn't not matter at all. Some of you people on YouTube, I just don't get, you know, you just don't check the video description. You don't check the date of the video. You don't check the comments. But anyway, any questions, go ahead and ask. I don't care. I don't care. But, uh, please judge not lest be judged. Bye.